It's the roller right next to us. <laughs> He's just flown up into the tree. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. He was sitting on a branch right next to the road and I saw him a little bit too late. I was watching some starlings which are around here too, wattled starlings. But have a look at the lilac breasted roller. And this is nice and close. Look at the blue and that lilac or slight purple coloration, the white, the black. Um, there's a bit of green in there somewhere too, I think, on the back. But those that bright blue and then almost a turquoise color underneath. James will probably be very impressed that I said turquoise. <laughs> So those of you who don't know, um, James actually trained me when I started guiding. So if I don't know anything or I get something wrong, you know exactly who to blame. And <laughs> so I've known James for many years, many years, and we've become good friends. So it's so wonderful to be able to guide with him again. Out at Safari Live. But isn't this a lovely... Oh, that he was going to call for us. Very harsh call. There we go. Preening, cleaning itself. Oh, look at that blue. Wow. How vibrant is that? That is incredible. Sunning the wings a little bit. That's interesting. Don't see this behavior often from birds, and never mind a lilac breasted roller that's got these beautiful colors to show us. All we need now is for him to take off, start calling, and do a display for us. Now that would be wonderful. The aerial display of the lilac breasted roller. And then you can see, you can see why they are called rollers. They've got this beautiful rolling display that they do. Nice just sitting listening to the different birds. I'm just hoping this roller calls for us again. And it's also so great that he's sitting so close to us. Just cleaning, preening himself. I mean, often these birds do tend to fly away quite quickly, so to sit and watch them closely. Look at that sharp beak of the roller. Isn't that incredible? Now, they generally feed on insects, but I once came across a lilac breasted roller that had caught a little mouse. Isn't that amazing? And it, we watched it for about five minutes. It caught the mouse was, and it managed to kill it. What it was doing was knocking it against a tree stump, killed the little mouse, and then tried to eat it. But it got it about halfway down and then realized its eyes were a bit too big for its beak and it couldn't it couldn't swallow the mouse it was far too big for it and so unfortunately it spat it out eventually but um, but it was very interesting to see I'm sure something else then came to feed on it oh dear oh dear 